There are three ways you can install the iOS native module. The first one is to use React Native Link. The second is CocoaPods, which is an iOS dependency manager. Or third is the manual approach. Normally, I would recommend using React Native Link as it is the easiest because you just run literally one command. However, when I did this during my implementation, I ended up running into some problems which required a lot of nasty cleanup work. So we're just going to take the safe route and do the manual approach. There's a few extra steps to this, but it is the easiest to troubleshoot if anything goes wrong. First, open Xcode. And now open up your file navigator. And your file navigator, navigate to the root directory of your application. Next, navigate into node modules. And then navigate to React Native Code Push, which is the NPM package we just installed. Now navigate into the iOS directory. And you'll see this push Xcode project file. Just keep note of that. Go back into your Xcode configuration. Open up the libraries folder. Now click and drag the Xcode. Now click and drag the code push Xcode project from your file navigator into the linked Now take the code push Xcode project file and click and drag it into libraries. Next, go to your root app, click on that, and go into the build phases section and expand out the section called link binary with libraries. Now, Come back over here on the left to the codepush.xcode project. Expand that out. And then scroll and then go down to the products folder and expand this out. Take this libcode push.a and click and drag it into the link binary with libraries. Now in this link binary with libraries. Scroll down to the bottom to where you see this plus symbol. Click the plus symbol and search for libz. And find the libz.tbd. Click it and then select add. Now that that has been completed, it's now time to go to our code editor. First, go back to the documentation and scroll down to the section called plugin configuration and there's some code that we're going to have to insert into our app.delegate file. <clears throat> so go ahead and open up your code editor. I use VS Code and in the root of your application go to the iOS directory. Expand that out and look for your main project minus call Manhattan match. Expand that out and then open up the app delegate file. If we look back at the documentation, it tells us that we need to import code push slash code push dot h. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that at the top here. Okay, now go back to the documentation. And now the documentation says, go and find this line, this JS code location, and replace it with this line. So go ahead and copy this guy and go back to the code editor. And I'll scroll down. And you can see the location of our JS code is right here. This JS code location equals NS bundle, main bundle, and then some other junk. So you can see that right here in the documentation. So let's take this value and replace it 
with the line in the documentation. Go ahead and save that file and exit out. That is it for the iOS native module installation. Now it's time to set up Android.